All right, so I'm fielding some of your questions that you've sent in uh, as these videos go out uh, in light of some of the events here in Minneapolis, Minnesota right now. Uh, the murder of George Floyd on Monday. Uh, today is Saturday, May 30th, 2020, and we are in Minneapolis. Uh, so I'm gonna answer this question. Uh, Somebody asked me, okay, how can I speak with people of color and not over them? My first step, okay, well, I wrote, I wrote down my answer. How can I speak with people of color and not over them? A uh, young white woman uh, asked. And so my answer is to maybe not speak. Maybe you should just listen. And that would be a great starting point. And I think that not speaking, we all know how to do that. But in listening, I think listening is something that is a little more tricky because sometimes we think we're listening, right? And then we're just waiting for you to stop talking so I can say something else. Or we're listening and we, we're thinking of how we, we can interpret what this person's saying and what, uh, what we can say back to them or, or if they're right or wrong or if they're uh, with us or against us. And really the listening can just come from a place of neutrality and, and just, just receiving, just receiving. And I would start there and I wouldn't even go to uh, speaking over them. Um, maybe you speaking with people of color just comes off as speaking over them anyways. Uh, and so I would really start with silence first, like just in, in being in the presence of uh, black people and just not talking. And I, I wouldn't even ask any questions. I would just maybe just listen to some of the stories and start from there. I know for me, um, listening in general is, is is it's, it's, a, it's a muscle, you, you, it atrophies if you don't do it for a long time. And so <clears throat> it, it also involves um, admitting you're wrong, being vulnerable, not taking up space, uh, not just allowing others to have space, but just giving yourself permission to understand it's not your space, giving yourself permission to know it's not your time to talk, giving yourself permission to feel However you're going to feel when you, when you hear these things. I mean, like, like really ride that, ride that because you might get riled up. You might feel accountable. You might feel uh, really heavy ownership for some stuff. And that's, I, I totally get it. I totally get it. And my encouragement is to navigate it, really like navigate how that feels and move through it. And then I think you'll develop a narrative and, and some process or understanding of yourself in these conversations that will serve you down the line. So I really encourage you to, uh, definitely engage with just listening. So I hope that helps. Uh, best of luck with it and uh, moving forward. Um, yeah, I hope you have some great conversations and I hope you can listen to some great conversations. So uh, thank you so much for watching and listening to this video. Uh, again, we're, we're flying by the seat of our pants here. We don't really know what we're doing and just answering questions and making as many uh, vlogs and videos on what's going on here in Minneapolis as possible and continuing the work after that. And I don't think this is going to stop anytime soon, uh, but just with the faculties and the resources and the good people that I've been working with, uh, we're able to pull this off. So thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video.